Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. Today we are in Eastern Bosnia playing as the Serbian militia, basically the army of the Republika Srpska, which is the Bosnian Serb Republic. As you can see we have much heavy weaponry at our disposal and we are going to use it to capture all of Eastern Bosnia if we can. We accidentally shot a teammate, but no worries, we will win. We are advancing, we have launched this offensive with lightning speed, since we are at a disadvantage when it comes to um, capture points. Now, with the Battle of Sarajevo decided in our favor in the previous episode, victory here shouldn't be all that hard to achieve. It should a loss, a loss in this battle should be out of the question. And with this in mind, we will charge onwards to crush these Bosniak forces with all of our might. We will have to flank around to actually capture this base with ease, since throwing ourselves at the Bosnian front line doesn't seem to be working all that well. Nonetheless, we have a good chance of winning here, we have twice the manpower of the Bosnians and better equipment. The only thing they need to do to stop us is to hold us back. Which is much easier said than done. So as you can see we are launching bullets and shells in their direction. We are going to throw some grenades off to Hit the Bosnians hard. And we are going to continue our advance on these Bosniak bases. Okay, that was a lucky escape for us. Now we have to get cover. Fire some bullets to keep the Bosniaks at bay. And continue our assault. And the Bosniaks have a tank. It's camouflaged, making it look much more imposing than it actually is. Now, our problem here is that we are wounded. And as a result of this, we are at a disadvantage. Nonetheless, we are advancing on the Bosniak front line. But if they hold on to their bases for enough time, there's a small chance that we will lose our advantage in Bosnia. This is a very important battle, almost as important as the battle for Sarajevo to be exact. Since though the Bosniaks have been defeated in the city, they are yet to be defeated in the countryside. That's the aim of this offensive. We are going to dislodge the Bosniak forces from their positions in the ethnic Serb parts of Bosnia, and make sure that they will be unable to counterattack against our forces. Now, I see a helicopter at our base, and we will try to take that one and use it to attack. It's a small little helicopter, of course, but it has some pretty beefy armament for its small size. We should be able to take down some Bosniak forces with this with relative ease. Now, where is that Bosniak tank I saw earlier? Wherever it may be, we will destroy it. Even though our helicopter got shot down from the skies, we will drive this truck to victory. Sure, it's slow, but we have rockets. And that should be enough to take out this tank. Come on, just fire the rockets in the right goddamn direction. Hit the Bosniaks. At least managed to do that. There we go. That was some good aiming with those rockets. And we got stopped in our tracks. Things are bad now. Very bad. The Bosniaks are putting up stiffer resistance than I expected. 
I'll have to infiltrate with the helicopter if I can. Okay, Alexander is not getting in, that's good. He doesn't want to follow- wait, he does want to follow me, that's good. Again. Now, we are going to take to the skies and bring judgment onto those who dare compromise the integrity of the Serbian dominated Yugoslav state. The third Yugoslavia will be the strongest Yugoslavia for sure. Because as you can see, the Bosniaks aren't able to resist. They can't stand, they don't stand a chance. I see some napalm down there, which is pretty cool. This is slowly becoming a Vietnam kind of situation. Hopefully in this case we are the Viet Cong rather than the Americans. We have a lovely propeller driven airplane there that's dropping napalm from the skies. Very useful air support, if you ask me it's a beautiful sight. There's nothing like the smell of some Serbian napalm in the morning. Beautiful Serbsky Nepal. But now we have to hold in for just one more second. And the base is ours, we now have parity with the Bosniak forces. We'll have to get up, take these guys out. Surprise, goat fuckers! They are not going to stop us. This will be a great day in the history of the Bosnian Serbs. We are already receiving reinforcements. And the other Bosniak base is on the verge of falling. Things couldn't be better. And we just lost that base. So things could be better, of course. But despite that, we are going to get our hands on a tank. There's two tanks here, actually, so we should be making use of those. Nobody seems to, re to be respawning here anymore while our plane seems to have frozen in the skies and is now falling down to earth. But no worries, we cannot lose since the Bosniaks have taken too many casualties to win. With this battle won, we will cement our position as the dominant power in Bosnia. We will solidify and consolidate our lines in eastern Bosnia and make sure that our positions around Sarajevo can be successfully defended. Now, with this base about to fall, we can continue our attack on the second Bosniak base, which shouldn't be a hard target, not at all. Not if we attack in the right direction, from the right direction anyway. Okay, this guy is trying to suicide bomb me, this fucking jihadi. I will not allow it. They're shooting rockets at me. I can, I can already guess that they are from the, Amer the Americans. Obviously enough, the Western Europeans are against the Serbs in their fight for freedom in Bosnia. And as a direct result of this, the Bosniaks are actually capable of resisting. Not that we mind this resistance. It means that it will be a lot less of a challenge to pacify Bosnia once the war is over. Take that, you balie! Superiority is almost ours. Let's put an end to this Bosniak counterattack on our base. We were laying down some lovely napalm on them as well. There's nothing like... A good old dose of napalm to teach those Muslims what it's like to get burnt by the Serbs. And now we're gonna go in with our truck. You know, we are gonna be a badass mother trucker here. We are gonna charge into battle with this rocket launching truck. The Bosniaks are on the, are on the verge of defeat. Their reserves are exhausted. The napalm is burning them to a crisp. 
And we are going to win. No matter what at this point. Now, come on, Buknokovic. Fire! I mean, literally. Throw some fire in the direction of those Bosniaks. We need it. We have a ridiculously large superiority to the Bosniak forces now. And we are on the verge of victory. To celebrate, I say we fire some gunfire. Wait, okay, we cannot fire gunfire since we just got shot. But that doesn't matter much. The Bosniaks are once again retreating. We've captured that base in the middle. The second base is on the verge of falling to us. And we just got shot again. I'm sorry for what seems to be probably boring gameplay now. But we have shattered the Bosniak lines. We have made sure that the Republika Srpska, Bosnian Serb Republic, will have a great starting position. And so we have won this battle. Dealing another crushing blow to the Bosniak Muslims and strengthening our position in Bosnia. At this rate, the Croats will fall quite soon as well. Though the Bosniaks themselves still pack a punch. They are retreating into the countryside. They have lost Sarajevo. All hope seems lost for them at the moment. So stay tuned for further battles. I have been the Nerd Gamer. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.